Hi everyone, and welcome to the fourth year of POSET, an event for Postgres. My name is Charles Ferdison. I'm the Director of Product Management for Postgres at Microsoft, and I'm pleased today to be able to tell you about all the things we're building in Postgres at Microsoft in 2025. Hi, my name is Robert Haas. I work at Enterprise DB, where my current job title is VP Chief Architect Database Servers. And my talk is about incremental backup, which is a new feature that I developed for PostgreSQL 17. I'm hoping that this feature will be of particular interest to people who have large databases and they're looking for some new backup and restore options. Hey, hello, my name is Boris Mejias in the role of Monica De Bea. And I'm Sarah Conway in the role of Evelyn Cates. And the reason that we are saying in the role of is because this is going to be a storytelling. We are going to tell you the story of a developer who comes and seeks help from a DBA who knows a lot about databases and together combining their knowledge, they are going to be able to provide data integrity through data modeling. As you can imagine, if you're an application developer or a DBA or anyone in between, even if you're just interested, you can definitely benefit from this talk. So hello, uh, my name is Tomas Wondra. I work at Microsoft. I'm a long-term Postgres contributor, developer, and also a committer. And uh, I'm here to talk about performance archaeology, which is an overview of how the performance of Postgres changed over the many years um, um, of development. So if you are interested in performance and are a user or a developer, this talk might be interesting for you. I'm Pamela Fox, and today I'm talking about building modern Python web apps with Postgres. If you've ever thought about building a Python web app and you're trying to pick the technology stack, then this talk is for you. Hey everyone, I'm Matt McFarlane and I'm an engineer at Microsoft and a contributor uh, to the new VS Code extension for Postgres that's just been released to public preview. Please join this talk if you're interested in learning about a new tool in VS Code that can help manage and you develop Postgres applications using both standard database management tools and also more advanced uh, Copilot AI capabilities. I'm Luke Swittle, founder and CEO of PG Analyze. We're gonna talk about how to optimize slow queries in Postgres, specifically when you have an explain analyze output and you don't know how to interpret it, I'm gonna give you a few tips and tricks and a better mental model for working with slow queries in Postgres and how to fix them. Everyone, I'm Bohan Zhang. I'm a member of technical staff at OpenAI. In this talk, I will discuss how we scale Postgres to the next level at OpenAI. Specifically, we will talk about how we operate Postgres and the lessons we there and the challenges we face and how we address them at OpenAI. If you are a DBA operating in production Postgres at a very large scale, you might be interested in this talk. Hi, I'm Vinod. I'm a partner software engineer at Microsoft and one of the committers of Microsoft's DocumentDB. And today, I'll be talking about designing document databases for PostgreSQL, aka how we leverage the awesomeness of Postgres's extensibility model to build Microsoft's DocumentDB. Hi all, my name is Gayatri Padala, working with Microsoft as a PostgreSQL performance expert. Uh, boosting the PostgreSQL server's performance using Azure Advisor recommendations is the best way to identify any vulnerabilities your server is going through. You will be informed proactively and um, anyone who is moving from Oracle who is not aware about the internals of the PostgreSQL, for them this is the best uh, approach to identify their server's vulnerability and get it fixed. Hi, my name is Philippe. I'm one of the founders and the CEO of ParadeDB. Today, my talk is titled Elastic Search Quality, Full Text Search in Postgres using TentaV. We're going to be talking about how you can do full text search in Postgres today, what it's amazing at, what it's perhaps not so good at, and then some of the ways in which the work that we do at Parade with an extension called PG Search is lifting the limitations that full text search in Postgres has to make it competitive with Elastic Search and other search engines.